I think we were practicing like take off and then suddenly like we were practicing until like 5 a.m. in the morning and then we were like wait how oh my god and everybody how, how saw that like, Hey guys, it's Nessie. Kalau kalian belum subscribe ke channel ini, jangan lupa klik tombol subscribe-nya. Hari ini aku ditemani sama guest tamu yang sangat, sangat, sangat special. Ah! Dari jauh sekali di Korea Selatan. Sedang menunggu kita adalah Tem dari NCT, Wavy, dan juga Super M. Aku mencoba untuk melakukan riset yang terbaik dari teman-teman NCT Zen untuk mengenal Tem sebelum interview ini. Semoga pertanyaan-pertanyaan hari ini mewakilkan kalian semua dan aku juga nggak sabar untuk cerita horor dikit-dikit sama Ten. Langsung aja kita say hello ke Ten. Hello Ten. Hello. I'm Nessie from Indonesia. Hi Nessie. How are you feeling? I'm um, very busy, just like preparing my album and just like do all the little stuff. Of lately. course, of course. And first thing first, congratulations on the release of your first mini album. Thank Ten. you. Uh, and I'm pretty sure NCT Zen in Indonesia and everywhere else in the world would be super excited for this mini album. Yes. <laughs> Are you receiving their energy? <laughs> yes, definitely. I did like see some of the comments mm -hmm. for my jacket on photos shoot and they say they really love the concept and also the live with you I see a lot of like positive like comments and the feedback like the songs and how nice the music video is like shoot and I, I'm very happy because like me and my staff we did work hard on like sharing the ideas and like working on the album yeah I also saw like comments even in Bahasa Indonesia <laughs> I'm not sure if you understand <laughs> but I see a lot of NCTZNs in Indonesia commenting on that video it looks so cool Thank you, thank you. So you're like the first member to release a solo out of Wavy. Oh, I'm the second member. Oh, the second member. Oh, in Wavy, in Wavy. Yeah, Wavy. Oh, in Wavy, yes. But how do you feel about it? Like, what is the most challenging part about releasing a solo? I think every part is very challenging to me because, like, in this album, I get to put my hands on every process, like the music video, Whoa. the visual part, choosing the songs, uh -huh. everything. So, like, like the choosing the song, it took us like half a year to. Um, um, decide which songs we want to put in the album and also um, the concept for the, the jacket shooting like I talk with my staff like every night we keep like sending like references like talking wow. for like hours to say oh what should we do what should we try and yeah a lot of like talking fighting, <laughs> fighting. Just, like, understanding <laughs> Oh, but it's good because like, you know, like creating something, definitely like, like friction is like, it always happens. Of course, <laughs> you need some heat. <laughs> yes. But you're still currently like a member of NCT, Wavy and also Super M. So you're probably like extremely, extremely busy. How do you manage to actually create a solo album? <laughs> oh. <laughs> when I have like my free time, uh -huh. so I just like do the recording, the shooting, but like just in TMI, like for this, like for the recording, recording section I record every song in a week like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday is like all recording the woman was too stunned to speak so it's very very tough but I did have a lot of fun yeah but in your free time so you don't have a free time then <laughs> nowadays because I had to prepare all the things for my fans to see right. I'm okay <laughs> Okay, okay. It's a good trade-off. <laughs> so, um, what message do you actually want to convey with this mini album? Like, as a whole, it's very hard for me to figure out who Ten is. Because I feel like sometimes I have a very like, I'm a happy person, but sometimes I'm a bit sad. But sometimes I, sometimes I'm very cold. Sometimes I'm very like playful. So I just feel like, how about we just do something like an alter ego concept. Oh. So like everything you see in the album is like a part of me and I just want to show like my fans like like I'm a human so I did had a lot of personality that happens around me when I like in different situations. Right. It's just like me showing my little parts of me. Oh. Little ten. Me showing the little tens. That's actually really cool. Little tens. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. But yeah, I mean like then it's like a, all the sides of you that maybe fans didn't know before. They get to see a little more of you yes oh that's definitely. so cool okay what is your if we can like this is just a little secret for this video would you tell us like what is your favorite track from the album me and all the staff we are like carefully just like select one by one like very like seriously so i do love all the songs but if of we course. have to choose one it might <laughs> all be of them are your babies 
<laughs> yes, maybe Wait, lie with you. Pick one. Lie with you. Lie the song with you. called okay. Lie with You. Um, then that would be like the first one we're gonna look into. Then yes, um, <laughs> lie with you. Because perfect. I feel like the lyrics it's it's mean a lot to me because sometimes people just don't cherish enough. Like I feel like people sometimes just forget to cherish um, the people who around them. Right. They miss like the closest one, and then they always like find something else that's so far, but they forget to see who's like beside them. And True. Like, so it's that, more like you never know until they're gone type of thing. Yes. So oh. I was like, and the lyrics, if you see the lyrics, they're just like, it feels like even though you know like this not gonna last, how about we just like enjoy the moment. Oh. And that wow. just like hit me when yeah. I um, see the lyrics and I'm just like, oh, I definitely need to sing this song. That's amazing. Wow, I'm super excited now. <laughs> so I noticed something on the B track of your mini album. There is a song called Water. So this is particularly interesting because I found out that you have an Indonesian name called Tirta. Yes. And Tirta also means water. So I wanted to know, like, what is your connection with water? <laughs> water. Um. Mm. I think it's a coincidence though, but um, <laughs> I think my life is funny. Sometimes like the things that I didn't really focus on, it yeah. just like happened yeah. like a coincidence. I was born on February 27th, so I was Pisces. So maybe that connects with oh. water and also like Pieta also connects with water. Oh my god! And I really like going to the beach and that's why everything just like connect to water without me knowing. That's so cool! Okay, okay, okay. So, wow. I feel like we just cracked a conspiracy theory. <laughs> Very <laughs> Talking spiritual. about conspiracy theory, I actually have a channel where we discuss mysteries and like conspiracy oh. theories and horror. Ooh. One of our biggest thing in this channel is when we speak to like people and they tell us about their horror stories. Okay. Do you have any horror stories or like horror experiences, paranormal experiences okay. when you were like training or something? I feel like you're gonna like my title track Nightwalker because it connects with the like like the dark side of human. Like something is awakening in one of like the character that I perform in the music video, but he doesn't know that he had the a very dark like scary personality inside of him so that's like part of like the Nightwalker music video okay the theme like the theme role in Nightwalker yeah and I was oh, like but that. when you talk about like the paranormal activities since I was young like I I don't know if it's real or not but I feel like I feel stuff sometimes oh really like the, Yes. Like what? Like, uh, for example, like when I was like study at school, I work until like 3 a.m. in the morning, and then I have like five dogs, and suddenly they just like run into my room, look inside the toilet, and they keep like howling, like like five of them, and they're so afraid of like going inside the toilet, and I was so scared, so I just like shut the door, run upstairs, and just like go to bed right away. Oh no. Yeah, they also believe it here in Indonesia. People believe that dogs, cats, like animals, they can feel and see things yes. that humans can't. So maybe they saw something maybe in your they closet. Saw something. <laughs> but do you have any like um, experiences from your practice days? You know, your practice um, days. Once I think we were practicing like take off, and then suddenly, like we were practicing until like five a.m. in the morning. Oh my god! And then we put like a cup of water on the table in the middle of the table mm -hmm. but then suddenly the cup just like flipped just like flipped <gasps> from the middle of the table to the floor and everything just like spilled and then we were like wait how oh my god and everybody how, saw how that like, yes we were so shocked oh wow i feel like the ghost maybe were telling you like stop practicing you're gonna get sick no no um <laughs> i think uh, because like in korea i think people believe that if you um practice something in the practicing room and then this kind of like stuff happened that's me like it's will become a, a boom become oh, successful wow and it did yeah <gasps> <laughs> oh wow <laughs> crazy that is so scary i mean if every like if you are the only one who saw that you're probably thinking like mm, maybe i didn't see that right oh, yeah. but like if everybody saw it <laughs> then it's like it, it's really happening it really happened probably so last time eric nam came to my house oh. and we spoke about horror as yeah. well and he told me that a lot of these like practicing rooms they always have like different ghosts yes. and horror stories and people would have like experiences in the not practicing room but also like in their dorm oh yeah, yeah. do you have those in the dorm like i haven't had an experience like to see like some like crazy stuff in my dorm yet but 
I yes. heard like ghost, like the spirit. They they really like music because like oh, it's the only thing that connects them to the real world. Right. And that's why like musicians get to experience a lot of like paranormal activity. Yeah, paranormal activities. Yeah. Do your friends? Do you have like stories from your friends as well? Members? Uh oh, once when I was super young, I performed at like a school like festival, and I was like backstage, and then we just like talk funny, like okay, let's um take a picture with our flash camera, uh -huh. a film camera, and let's see if there's any ghosts in the backstage stage section, and then like something just appeared next to my head. <gasps> When I was young, I think I was like 11 years old. Oh my god, did you keep the picture? Nah, I just deleted it. <laughs> you got scared? I was like, no, this is not gonna happen today. I just deleted like, uh, the picture. That's funny. Wow, okay. So let's go back to the question. Okay. We have too much fun with horror stuff. But uh, I believe that a lot of people consider you as their role model, oh, okay. uh, especially knowing that you're a very multi talented person. Um, but do you have your own like role model when it comes to career wise mm. or just personal wise? Um, like everyone knows, I always look up to Taemin mm, and also Boa. Boa. Yes, and and I always like Rihanna. I really like Rihanna. Rihanna? Yes. <laughs> She is very talented. Yes, like I, I think I admire every like artist like out in the market right now because like, everyone has their own like uniqueness, and I just learn a lot from them by watching their like videos uh -huh. on like performance on like YouTube and stuff. So I, I, they're all my teacher. They're oh sure, that's really cool actually. By the way, like Rihanna looks so cool on the Super Bowl. Did yes. you see that? Very so cool. good. But if you get to choose like that, you can collaborate with on a song, perhaps on the next mini album next mini album <laughs> who would they be oh that's very hard i never um uh how about tyla oh and she also has water right? yes <laughs> so you tyla. can collaborate like a mix of both songs yeah and then um, um let's go with i want to try to work with taemin young oh Okay, with your idol. Yes. That would be a very cool collaboration. <laughs> but I'm super excited for Tyla X10 as well. Oh, really? <laughs> water. I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> you too. gravitate yeah. towards water then. That really is true. So wow. maybe like if we get to work together we might do something with fire, I don't know. Oh! Wow, yeah, the the opposite of water. Yes. Mm, yes. That is really nice. I'm supporting that idea. <laughs> After debuting as a soloist, what other projects are you excited to pursue? Right now, I'm preparing my um, fan con, like my fan tour, Ooh. my fan tour concert, and I'm very looking forward to like see all my fans in different countries, and I want to see how will I be able to like, like do well huh. in my solo concert because it's my first time doing a solo concert, so I'm still very nervous. No, you will do so well. You're a natural, I think. <laughs> Are you coming to we'll Indonesia? See. Yes, I'm coming to Indonesia. I'm going to Indonesia. Really? Okay, we're super excited to yes. have you here. I'm sure the NCTZens are very, very excited. They're probably saving up already yes. <laughs> to see you. <laughs> oh, there's a special question actually. Yes. I heard that you speak four languages very fluently. Not that fluently, but... Uh, Quite, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. With, no, like, all the I'm sure you languages. speak all these languages amazingly. But I was wondering, when you dream, what language do you use in your dreams? It depends on on that night. So if I speak a lot of English, oh. then I'm gonna dream in English. But if I speak a lot of Korean, I will dream in Korean. <laughs> I think I think dreaming is about like like habits I guess. Yeah. So it depends on the situation as well. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but like what my members told me that like, I do like sleep talking in like two languages sometimes. <laughs> they say I speak like Korean and then suddenly Thai and then just like English all of a sudden. But I didn't know that. So I tell them to like can you feel me next time? But they didn't, so I haven't get to see myself sleep talking. <laughs> Yeah, because they probably aren't prepared whenever you sleep talk, right? Yeah. They would whip, whip up the camera in the middle of the night. <laughs> I should like hard. film myself with a CCTV camera. <laughs> oh yeah, you should, you should. Then you can hear yourself speak in four languages. <laughs> yes. But what if like you start recording and it's like there are crazy things happening because you said you always get to like feel oh, horror oh. stuff. Then I, I might have to move places. <laughs> 
just get a new house start, like right away. But so you've been performing since you were really young then? Yes. Since you were at what age? Mm, like 13. 13? But at school, yeah. At school. At school. Wow. Because like, our school we had a lot of like, um, like talent like shows. Festival, the talent show, the special activity. If you attend, you get like a special score for your like exam and stuff. Ah. But like after doing it obviously professionally, do you still have the same kind of love for performing oh. and excitement? Yes, definitely. Because now I get to experience something that I will never be able to express if I was not an artist. So I feel like every moment is very new to me. And still now, like there's so many things to learn being an artist and being a musician and being on stage because there's no um, right answers. Right. Wow, that's amazing. And also, of course, like your fan base is getting bigger and bigger okay. and you get to see new faces each time. That must be very different than uh, when you were starting. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I do love like seeing like all my fans and talk to them because like, like my fans tell me their stories and I get to listen and just like learn from them too because like talking to a lot of people you just like gain more insight yeah insight uh -huh, uh -huh. but with um with also like you telling your stories your life stories through your music uh, the songs that you choose for your album of course you get to connect with your fans also better do you feel like your bond gets stronger with the release of something that is very personal like a mini album oh definitely because like releasing a solo album and in this album i was like i want to tell my fans that okay Okay, this is 10 that I want to show you, but it's the 10 now, not the future 10, not the past, right. just like 10 right now. But I don't know what's going to happen to me like in the future, but right now, this is me, yeah. what I'm feeling at the moment. So it's like me, like open up to my fans, just like, hey, now I'm trying to like get closest to you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm brave enough to tell you guys that this is like me. Like I'm open up to them. I feel like this yes. um, solo album can really connect my fans and me. And I think our bonds will become even stronger than before. Oh, that's amazing. I'm very excited to hear more about your album. Obviously, I'm looking forward to it coming. It's coming next week, Next is it? week on February 13th. February 13th. It's a kiss day. Oh, kiss day? Yes. Like yes. Valentine's In Korea, day. February 13th is kiss day oh, and 14 oh. is valentine okay all right so we're, we have something to kiss a new album <laughs> <laughs> and then it's your birthday the week after yes so yes. much to celebrate happy early birthday thank you <laughs> thank you so much for talking to us oh, thank Stan, you thank you thank you we're, we look forward for you to come to indonesia soon very very soon it's okay. very nice talking to you today it's Thank lovely you. to speak to you as well. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye to the Bye. Yes. Bye. Oh, he's so nice. Oh my god, he was so cute and nice. Oh yeah. I'm sekarang aku jadi invested kan aku harus cari itu album barunya dia. Okay. <laughs> Dia kayak ah, foto dulu gitu. Saya kalau minta foto dulu, foto dulu gitu. In 15 seconds, they say, I'm excited. Yeah, silent, please, everybody.